If the vote were taken today, would you vote for the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act? No, I would not. Would you vote to end farm subsidy programs? I would. Yeah, I grew up in a, on a pig farm in Southern California. And uh, what a lot of people, I don't, a lot of my friends, I live in Sullivan, it's a small uh, farm community, just uh, an hour southwest of St. Louis. And a lot of, uh, a lot of my friends who are livestock farmers, cattle and, and hog farmers, they, uh, they have told me that uh, the subsidies that crop farmers get actually hurt the pig farmers and cattle farmers because it drives the cost of fuel and feed up. So I don't think it's fair to subsidize crop farmers and pay them not to do something. Meanwhile, we're punishing somebody else. And that's just, uh, when you look across, it doesn't matter what it is, every time Congress or even the Missouri Assembly, when they look at trying to pass legislation to help or to, to, to assist a certain group, it hurts somebody else. That's not fair. No, we should not do that. And I'm apologizing over and over again for this question because it's a little convoluted, but stick with me here. To what extent do you believe that in an enlightened democratic society, the citizenry should be bound by any type of financial and social commitment to the, support the greater good of all Americans? Well, as a Catholic, I, I believe in charity, but the charity should come from private organizations such as the Knights of Columbus. We, can, we work really hard to raise money to help our neighbors that are in need. Um, our government, our Republican form of government, was based on hard-working independent people to, to, to provide for themselves. Our founders were all hard-working farmers, a lot of them, many of them preachers, but they all provided for their own family. And then from there, what you have left over as, as, a, as a good American or as a good uh, human being, trying to help out your neighbors that are in need, that's where we should have some social programs uh, at the community level, at the lowest level, and private organizations. Uh, America's not a, uh, it's not a socialistic state, at least, you know, it wasn't founded as one. Many would argue that uh, uh, FDR, and maybe even before that, uh, when he first stamped us with the social security number, that was the beginning of socialism in America. And I agree to, uh, to a very big extent that it is. And we need to really look at how much the federal government's doing for people. And you gotta hold people accountable to provide for, their, uh, for themselves.